San Munani, my name is Lazlo Apeshe Akosa. And as a student, I'm very worried about life during COVID-19 and post-COVID-19. And today, I'm joined by the Deputy Minister of Higher Education and Training, Mr. Puti Manamela, to answer my questions on life on campus as we roll back into campus. Come and join me. How are we going to ensure that as we churn out final year students into the world of work, they are ready for the new normal. Yeah. Because, I mean, we're within a new normal yeah. that no one necessarily knows what is. Yeah. Look, I mean, the reality is that even before COVID-19, um, our economy was facing a crisis. Uh, beyond the structural crisis that, uh, you know, required fundamental changes, there were the, the, I mean, there's also a crisis that is as a result of, uh, you know, externalities, the global economic crisis, uh, the collapse of the global uh, financial uh, markets, uh, which has resulted in more jobs being lost. Deep into COVID-19, a lot of people are already facing retrenchments, factories are closing down and all of that. Now, part of the interventions that we are doing as the uh, Department of Higher Education and Training but also the Department of Science and Technology, is to encourage universities to even put more resources into research and development, into innovation, uh, because we believe that that lies in the crux of uh, us breaking out of both the structural and externally imposed crisis that our economy has been faced with. It also means that uh, you know universities and TVET colleges will have to think outside of the box. Uh, it means that uh, you know those skills which uh, have always been regarded as becoming obsolete, uh, you know, needs to be revamped. Uh, if needs be, they need to be discontinued. So part of the things that we've been doing, even outside of the uh, COVID-19, has been to look at the kind of landscape of skills that are being provided and how do we enable them to understand that uh, you know we need to be uh, entrepreneurial. We need to be uh, self-sufficient in terms of how we contribute into the economy, um, you know, but we also need to be empowered with skills that makes us indispensable to the economy itself. And I think that that's going to be very crucial. Of course, it's easier said than done. So part of the things that we, uh, our skills branch has been doing to work with the private sector, to work with training providers and academies, is to look at what kind of, uh, and, and working together with the Department of uh, uh, Trade and Industry, is what kind of uh, postgraduate training programs linked to the world of work, uh, you know, do we need to introduce or do we need to strengthen in order to make sure that, uh, you know, graduates are better equipped uh, to join in in the world of work. In fact, um, one of the things that we're learning internationally is that people with some form of, uh, 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 you know, post post school qualification will be better placed, depending on what that qualification is, uh, you know, to assume certain responsibilities in the world of work.